Hi, my name is JD Vandenberg and I'm a workflow integration engineer at ARI. In this video, I will show you the DNX HD recording capability of the Alexa. To get started, you'll have to download and install our software update package 6.0 or later. You can find it on our website www.ari.com. Also, you will need to purchase the DNX HD license from our license shop at the address alshop.ari.de. On our website, you can also download our free AMA plugin, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS X. It is compatible for Media Composer and Symphony 5.5 and later. After installing the license, two new codecs will be available in the camera. The NXHD 145, which stands for 145 megabit per second when you're shooting at 30 frames per second, and the NXHD 220X, which stands for 220 megabit per second when you're shooting at 30 frames per second. The X stands for 10-bit. This is a 10-bit 422 codec, while 145 is an 8-bit 422 codec. A DNX HD 444 codec will be available in the near future free of charge for anybody who purchased the DNX HD license. If you have the high-speed license already installed, you will be able to shoot up to 120 frames per second with either of the DNX HD codecs. After you're done recording, you can insert the SBIX card in your computer and you will see that the camera has generated three kinds of files. The MXF file contains audio, video and metadata. The XML file contains metadata and it's a user-readable file. And finally, the ALE file contains an overview of all the recorded takes. Now I'd like to give you a little overview about the Material Exchange Format or MXF. The ARRI Alexa uses the operational pattern 1A or OP1A for DNX HD recording. Also, since OP1A is a streaming format, it can be played back even the end of the file is missing. If the camera shuts down during record, for instance, you won't lose the entire file. Finally, OP1A files are the primary acquisition and archiving format for many broadcasters. With the free AMA plugin, you can directly open Alexa generated MXF files in Media Composer and access a huge number of metadata fields like the codec, for instance, or the name of the director or director of photography, or the white balance settings or the shutter angle, or many, many more. In a common Avid infrastructure with a lot of shared media, Avid products are typically expecting the file to be rewrapped as OP Atom, which is optimized for nonlinear editing. It is important to note that converting an MXF OP1A file into an MXF OP Atom is just a rewrapping of the file and does not affect the audio and video quality. The computer will simply rewrap or repackage the audio, video, and metadata into a different format. Consolidating should not take more time than just copying the files from the SBIX card to a hard drive. You can also transcode the MXF file into a lower bitrate like DNS HD 36, for instance. You can do this easily via the transcode tool in Media Composer. As you can see, the ARRI Alexa DNX HD option, together with the AMA plugin, is a simple and powerful workflow solution. For more information, please visit us at ARRI.com or avid.com. Thank you.